Love, light, healing, and knowledge. Um, this is a life-changing situation, you know. It, the opportunity to, to speak to someone such as Sir William Crookes, who was the scientist that studied Madame Blavatsky, or, or even having a little closure from your mother who might have passed away. You know, I don't really like doing loved ones because I always feel sick to my stomach afterwards. Because I believe when you leave, it's time to move on. But sometimes, every once in a while, Lady Nada will let a loved one come through because it's really important to have closure. You know, because if you don't have that closure, you hang on to it for the rest of your life and it, and it will interfere sometimes with, with that life. So having closure is great, but to ask Uncle Jim where he hid the, the insurance policy, <laughs> that, that's just not a good thing, okay? Um, so anyway, the last thing I want to say, and then I think we'll move on to the other side. Over, over there. <laughs> well, you never know. Um, <laughs> for those of you that are training, follow your protocols. Make sure everything is in complete balance and order. Try not to have any more than seven people sitting to, with you at, at a time. Because if you do, then you've got to move to 14 people. Okay? Um, and it goes by sevens, usually. Sometimes you can get away with threes, but seven is, is usually the spirit number. Okay? For training and other things in your life. That includes the medium, yeah. Um, now later, when you're trained and things are happening, you know, put it in there, please, uh, then you can kind of, the medium can deviate a little bit off of the protocol or the, or the, or the, uh, the way that they did things. Because when you go out on the road or around your home or whatever, you can't be in control of everybody that comes and sees you. Sees you. And different people are going to come in different ways. I mean, I had an experience in California where this guy, who, who loving guy, I mean, he didn't mean anything, but he had severe migraines to the point that nothing that the doctors could do to fix it or even give him some, some element of, you know, of healing of some kind, you know. So they gave him morphine, pills and, and shots. And he came to one of the uh, events I was doing. And he took a shot of morphine before he came into the seance room. And he acted fine. No, I mean, no one didn't know that he was, you know, on morphine. Um, I mean, if I had been on morphine, you would have known it. So at the end of the seance, it took three hours to get me back in my body. Three hours. I mean, you realize you can't let people leave. You can't open the doors and stuff yet. You have to get me back, right? Um, because the lights are still off. And you never know what's going to be going on there, right? Finally, I started going rrr, 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 like that. And then finally I came back and I couldn't get up out of the chair. I couldn't walk. Because the energy of that guy integrated into my body. And I was high too. You know, um... When I got home, my girlfriend drove me home. I'm just sitting there in my chair. And I'm like, <laughs> good shit, <laughs> you know. But uh, you got to be careful. Now, um, Dawn may. I don't know if she is or not, but she. They may. The doctors may give her some pain pills because of her knee, right? But they know that. The spirit world knows that that's what she's doing. So what they would do is they would put a field of energy around her where she can't interfere with, with that energy, you see, which means she would be more than welcome in the room. She's not harming anybody. She's not going to. And, and, that's, and that's the way it is. You know, if, if some of you came tonight and had a glass of wine or two, 
that's not really going to cause that much of a problem. But if you drink a bottle or two, that's another story. Hey, where's this spirit at? You know, <laughs> you know. Um, so just just be cautious. Always be aware. Protocol, discipline, train, teach, and just let her roll because the universe is knowing what's going on and all you got to do is just jump on board and just let it happen. Uh, everybody wants to be the physical medium. Really? It, it, all gifts are just as, just as necessary and just as important as the other. Okay? <coughs> physical mediumship just has more rules attached to it but it's just as it's just as um, important as, as automatic handwriting because really isn't what we're really looking for is answers okay you can do that in any mediumship form there is you see the phenomena that's really a worm on a hook to get you guys interested in it so you can be educated and want to be educated on what's really going on. Um, the people in Basel, they wanted that too. So Katumi came in and gave him a lecture on the origins of God. The lights came on at the end, and I come out of trance, and, and usually everybody's laughing and, and talking and everything. Everybody was sitting there like this. <laughs> Including the lady that was translating, because everybody is German over there. Which she didn't know a lot of the vocabulary. There was problems with the vocabulary and the translations and stuff. But you have, you have to read it over and over and over and over. Just listening to it or reading it once is never enough. I mean, how many of you have gone to a movie, liked the movie, you've, and then you see it three or four more times um, on TV or video or whatever, and you find, always find something different? Yeah, yeah. Same thing with the lectures. There's, knowledge is infinite. There is never one explanation or one answer to anything, including what I'm telling you tonight. There's more, you see. Um, and I followed the protocols and the trainings that Keith Reinhardt taught me when I was four and five and six years old. <coughs> um, wish he was still here. He was a, he was a, a force to reckon with, that guy. <laughs>